decision is my decision. But what about when mom and them tell you, hey, child, if you don't get that license, he can do this and he can do that. You need to go down there and get that marriage license. That's because here again, you're looking at something that society has taught you to do, but it doesn't make that the ultimate point. Uh, it's like getting a driver's license. Right. Because I get a driver's license doesn't mean I don't know how to drive. You understand what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. When I get a driver's license, it's my job to make sure that I drive properly on the road that it is. It doesn't mean that, you know, I, I can't. I've already made the decision myself that I'm going to be a responsible driver. Exactly. exactly. So because I have a license, it doesn't make me be a responsible driver because I'm going to be a responsible driver anyway. Anyway. Okay. Well, let me let me bring Black Sound because uh, you brought up a good point about the license. This is another way the state regulates you, and they can take that from you, even though the Creator has given us free dominion. Black Sun, you've heard. Talk to us. Well, you know what you read. Um, now hear me test one, two, three. I think they can hear me. Okay, somebody can test this mic. Can you hear me? No. Okay. Give me that. Give me that bell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we got you right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. The thing that you read. What black people have a hard time understanding is that you can't govern all people under Christianity. You cannot govern all people under the Bible. You can't govern the people under the philosophy and theologies of religion, period. Okay? So you got to understand, when this country first started, you know, you ask who does it benefit. You got to understand that when they say in God, period. it's a whole different God that they're talking about. Gold. Oil and diamonds, exactly. that's right. It's the same type of empire, same church that created, you know, and it's funny because I learned about gar gargoyles. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to keep out evil spirits. Mm -hmm. But these are the same people that created these gargoyles that invented the slave trade. Exactly. So it benefits the same people down there in Haiti, you know, with the 29 kids they try to kidnap? Yes, sir. Right, yes. but they were Christian Trafficking. missionaries. Yeah. So you got to look at... Um, you know, I know last week they talked about Wayne Williams and how the kids were, you know, came up missing and how he was put to blame for that. Right. The same thing is still going on today. Exactly. But we we have to look at, um, like I said, the, the the United States in its early phases. It's just like if you disagree against what I believed in, then you're a witch. Right. Then you know the Salem witch hunt you. Right. And just in modern day, you have some Christian guy go up there, but see people, even white people, are not realizing right. they're serving a different God. So exactly. the government realized, which a lot of them were into the other God, right. they said, well, we can't, because the masses of people serve the God that y'all believe in, you know, the righteous and this and that and you know, the Bible, and then they worship a whole different God, the gold, oil, and diamonds, and their God has to have sacrifices. That's okay? exactly right. And so that's why they came up with excuses to have Salem witch hunts. That's right. And that's why a lot of children are missing today. Yeah. So when they made that, they made something where everybody can work with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you may not agree with the God of sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you, you might even have atheists. You right. know what I'm saying? So you have to divine a system. See, that's why I, 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 I'm so hard pressed on black nationalism mm -hmm. because Christianity, Islam, and all these other religions don't offer an alternative for capitalism right. okay what you just read was a capitalist contract That's right. and until we come up with something to replace it which is black nationalism mm -hmm. it's going to continue to be the same thing buddy folks come on in here i mean because uh did we have a call i know we about out of time <laughs> i apologize talk to us my brother well i um in a way i do uh agree somewhat with uh with black some but then also i look at it as we have to, again, we can go to the word to where um, the Most High says that, you know, he is the God of gods. So he always lets you know that there are going to be some other gods out there, but don't be misled, and you'll be able to, to, to know the righteous God by the fruits that he bears. And just look at the ones, the, you know, the ones who worship the, 
gold, oil, and diamonds or government over democracy guide, you see what they're living through. They're always constantly in fear. They always need some type of new form of something to make them feel safe again. Mm -hmm. If it's cameras downtown, mm -hmm. if it's military. Uh, Chains, all, I mean, fences all over. It's in the car. Bro. Yeah, everywhere. Police, military style cops walking around with big guns downtown that makes them feel safe right. from an imaginary enemy, someone that they don't even see, but now you're afraid of this person because the ones who are in control told you this is who you should be afraid of. And it's the same way with, with the marriage contract. You have to go and di get this. If not, you miss out on these kind of benefits and you won't legally be married and, and you can't just live together and you cannot, but they're taking the place of, once again, the righteous and true and living God Keep and replacing them with yeah. their God. So now we're worshiping, and like I said, you know, before when I was uh, doing the song, you you have to do any type of government business. That's one of the things they ask for. Aside from your ID, is your marriage license, birth certificate, any type of thing that they have you on paper. Right. They need that as a serious binding contract with you. If not, we're not going to take it too seriously. Not because you don't have those papers, those forms of ID. We, we you have could a security. We right. have a right. You could be anybody. Exactly. Who's, you could be say you're anybody. I could be Mickey Mouse and you really could be. Come on now. Use your logical mind. Is, yeah, but that's just a form of control. Let's see if we can control, get a call though. in here. 770-559-2999. Caller, are you there? I know we're about out of time. <laughs> Do, yeah, speak to us. Caller, turn him up. Caller? Uh, we, I couldn't hear the whole, most of the whole subject, but you know, when you think about trying to build families and understanding what family is really about, there's a difference between just the society we now live in here and the societies that, that will come from the East. And when you understand that, you, you begin to see that, you, you know, when you were talking about the marriage contract, when the contract is signed, it says, until his death do you part. But yet, the, the, the other thought, when you turn around, you turn on the TV, you said they got the divorce courts, divorce. So, somewhere along the line, there's a lie being told here. Exactly. Because you're not holding fast to, you know, what the vow is. And and though those papers are important, we got to understand that they, the culture that we're in doesn't adhere to those, you know, to the, to the original concepts of what marriage and stuff was about from the beginning. Exactly. You know? Absolutely, Prince. Well, we appreciate you. We're going to try to get one more call in. I think we got about a minute. Uh, let's see if we got the next caller. Caller, welcome to the Hero I Shower All program. What is your name, question, or comment? Caller? Do we have that caller? Caller, speak to us. Caller, are you there? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so you know, uh, okay. All right, Prince, I thought you were finished. We were trying to get one more call in. Okay, Gideon, do we have another caller, son? All right, you hey, need to send it. Hello? Yes, yeah, speak hello? to us. We're about out of time. Okay, Gideon, what's up? Hey, what's up, Black, that player? Black son, what's going on, man? You made that. I mean, I mean, I mean, that was beautiful, man, how you said that. But look at him. This is the key right here. If we, just like Black son said, if we start looking at God as an image, as that black woman that sit on that panel, I promise to your God, we will be on the right track tomorrow if we start doing that. You know, if we start looking at our black skin like we look at Yahweh and look at Jesus, I promise that we'll start moving again in this world and this society. Well, hopefully not this society, but we already know who our enemy is. We keep on talking about day. It's the white man. The white man is the devil. He is the beast that's on this surface. He even tell you in his movies, in his history book. We so-called claim we're educated. You know, every time I talk to a so-called African-American, I'm educated, I'm educated. And all the thing they, and all the thing they do is regurgitate this cracker's language. <laughs> the white man is the beast, and he is the devil. All right, my brother, we got that. We on the way out. We want to thank you for being here. Uh, mute that call part for me because we're getting the feedback.